Doing photography was a way for me just to get out and just free my mind after work. Little by little, it has become like a passion for me. My goal is just to keep on capturing the world around me and hopefully inspire people. My name is uh, Oliver Wong. I consider myself as a modern content creator. I do photography and videography. I think the new Nikon Z8 can really help me like improving my work because I doing photo and video at the same time. And until now, I was using two bodies, so one for photos and one for video. I really like this kind of group trip where there are different creative minds around me because I usually work alone on my own with my assistants. Really inspiring to see how everyone is working and also what's their motivation around their own style of photography. What is great is everyone, each of us has his own you know, style of photo or video and it is really inspiring to learn from each other and also maybe find some good tips that I can apply to my own process. So I think this was great to have all this creative mind around me for this uh, group trip. I think I will try to go to Granada for a sunrise shooting. Uh, I know that I've seen some beautiful photos of the street, like typical, you know, city center and historical. So it's going to be great to test the video uh, while the Spanish people are still sleeping. Just get lost in the street and try the video and uh, see if I can shoot both photos and videos at the same time. We will go there for sunrise and I will try to focus on travel content. So photo and video at the same time. I really like to shoot uh, in the streets, 70 to 200, 2.8. Uh, it's not the common lens for street photography, but I really like it because like, it gives that you know, compressed perspective. I think it's good to know how the picture was made, what's the process of you know, creating behind it. And that's why I think showing the behind the scenes of what you are shooting uh, as a content creator is really important. And that's why people are interested in my work more than before, since I started to show my behind the scenes. How's it go? Nikon has the app called Snapbridge and you can connect it directly to the new Nikon Z8. Download the raw file or just social media ready files and then I have them directly on my phone. A Nikon Z8 for me is compact, versatile and groundbreaking. Ooh. Perfect. I'm going to try something I always wanted to do, like drone light painting photography. So basically I will try to put some lights in a drone, just fly around and do like long exposure with the Nikon Z8 and try to see if I can have like to create a halo pattern in the sky. So as we are in the beautiful like desert of Tabernas, I think I'm going to go with like one of my favorite lens, 14 to 30 millimeter f4. The most important part of an image for me is the light and the composition. Like the light for me is the foundation of every image because it gives you know shapes and form to every scene I capture. I started to watch a lot of tutorials online. 
I started to just go out, practice, shoot a lot of photos, really practicing a lot. Man, I just have to wait uh, for blue hour. When I used to work as an engineer, I was doing like maybe three, four times a week doing sunrise and sunset because it was the only time for me that I have some free time to, to practice. I had a lot of expectation to shoot low light. I was kind of blown away by the ability to capture the long exposure and have an image that is really beautiful, even if it was in low light condition. And also it has some night feature that was really helpful, the starlight view. Great to, to shoot in low light with the new Nikon Z8 and I'm really happy about it. Oh, what's up guys? Hey, guys. How are you? You good? Good. How was you guys? <laughs> All good? good? Yeah. Happy. Happy. All good? Yeah. Spend a nice day. The wind started to be in La Blue, like really crazy. And then, yeah, we couldn't fly the drone. When we fly the drone, it was like beep. I don't want to fly. Yeah. yeah, get away with your picture. I don't want to fly. Were you satisfied or not? Yeah, I can show you if you want. Yes, yeah? Yes, Preview. Yes. So, one, two, three. <laughs> no, it was not. <laughs> wow. So, this is one of the shots, and we did a lot of few shots. Yeah. Going full time photography was not a, an easy decision, so I think my biggest sacrifice that I did for where I am right now is like just quitting my job as an engineer and try to live uh, with being a full-time photographer. Very funny guy, you know, I, I like his energy. I mean, I didn't know his work, but when I saw him shooting, I, I started challenging him, you know? And I look at him and like, I, just on purpose, you know? Why are you, what are you doing with the camera? It's upside down. <laughs> Action. I feel the guy is uh, very talented. He takes very serious what he does. <laughs> it's fun to see how, how they operate. But he's, they're able to make a living and to have an impact on photography through the new channels, which is amazing and enlightening and nice to have really time to, to share with these people how they look at things and, and how they work. In this trip, I think I've been inspired most by Wong Ai, uh, because he's trying to get me to uh, take more videos. So maybe I'll be doing more behind the scenes videos with the camera, so that's been inspiring. But I used to be like really focused on the figures and stuff like yeah. that, like yeah. posting every day, trying to get that shot, that perfect shot. I still need to find the right balance between my family and, you know, because focusing on just numbers is not, it's not great. And also, when you are doing your stuff on social media, you always want to post. Yeah. So sometimes I force myself to go out and shoot, and it's not the, the right, right thing to do. My next move, uh, as I say, I don't have any goals, you know, as a photographer or videographer. I just want to, you know, keep on capturing the world, experimenting new things, and, you know, just uh, keep on following my own path and do what I love to do, so taking photos. Uh, learning more about videography because I only studied videography a few years ago, so I still have like a long learning curve in front of me. So yeah, just keep on doing image making and hopefully someday I will do other stuff. Just go with the flow and if there are another social media platform, maybe try it and try just try to be ahead of the the next trend and see how it can evolve from there. Ready? 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 Ready. Ready. Action.